so we are basically doing a ratio analysis mcqs are you with me yes okay i want you to read the question and uh, start giving me answers yeah a firm sales are a hundred thousand dollars the expenses are thirty thousand dollars and the net profit is twenty thousand dollars what is the gross profit as a percentage of the sales uh so gross margin okay um first you we have sales find... minus cost of sales this would give you gross we... profit yeah are you with me yes sales minus cost of sales would give you gross profit gross profit minus other expenses would give you net profit yeah you should know this format yes miss now tell me what is a gross profit gross profit would be a uh, net profit minus other expenses sales is 100000 i don't have cost of sales this is 30000 net profit is 20000 So what is gross profit? Oh, okay. So we add them. Uh, yeah. It's fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Yeah. So gross profit over sales. Yeah. Into hundred. So it's option B. Yeah, miss. Yes. Yes. Go to the next one. Yeah. Try it first, okay? Okay, miss. When you don't understand something, what you have to do is you just have to read the question and try to analyze it. What it says. You're saying your average inventory at cost. What is average inventory? Opening inventory plus closing inventory divided by two. Average inventory is nothing but your opening inventory plus closing inventory divided by two. Okay. Inventory turnover ratio. How do you get inventory turnover ratio? Cost of sales divided by average inventory. Is cost of sales over average inventory? What is inventory turnover ratio? Inventory turnover ratio. That's the same one. Cost of sales over average inventory. Don't you have the answer? What? Huh? Oh yeah, we do. Okay, so average in rent eighty thousand. Hmm. Okay. Then, so now I, we cross multiply to get the answer. So what is your cost of sales? It will be. Six into eighty thousand. Eighty thousand into six. So your cost of sales is four eighty thousand. Are you with me? Yes. Now you want your sales for the next financial year, right? Yeah. You've been giving gross profit margin. This is twenty five percent. Uh, miss, is it isn't it markup? I don't know why you don't use your eyes to read. No, I was just confused because it says as a percentage of cost. Oh yeah, markup. It is a percentage of cost. So this is twenty five by hundred. So I would say this is one fourth on cost. 
So my gross profit is one fourth on costs. Do I know yeah. my cost of sales? Yeah. So this is one fourth on four eighty thousand. Yeah, which gives us one hundred uh twenty one two zero 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 zero. You don't know even to say it? No, I know how to say it. So say it, nah? One lakh two hundred thousand. So gross profit is one hundred and twenty thousand. Yeah, they want your sales. Miss, wait, it shows one lakh two hundred thousand for me. Wait, hold on. I am also using a calculator. They want your sales. So sales minus cost of sales will give you gross profit. Gross profit is one twenty thousand. Cost of sales is how much? Four eighty thousand. Okay. So your sales would be six hundred thousand. So it is option D. I am pausing it. I wanted to do it. Read this math. Yeah, a business with sales of one hundred twenty-five thousand sells its goods on act sells its goods uh, at a twenty-five percent markup on cost. It has overheads of ten thousand dollars. What is the net profit as a percentage of sales? So, what do they want? Net profit margin. Profit margin. Net profit over sales into hundred. Yes. Yeah. What is sales? Sales is one twenty five thousand. Minus cost of sales. Gives um, me gross profit. Yes. Twenty five thousand. <laughs> gross profit is markup. Markup is to... on costs. So it is twenty five by hundred on costs. But do I have the costs? No. Do I have the costs? No. Do I have the cost? Uh, we don't have the cost, so. It is one fourth on cost. Yeah. So this will become what on sales? One fifth on sales. What is the sales? Sales is one hundred twenty-five thousand. So what will be my gross profit? Uh, it will be um. I thought this the answer. Twenty-five thousand. Yeah. I want net profit. How will I so get the net profit? Minus overheads. I'll minus the overheads. What is the overheads? Ten thousand dollars. So my net profit is how much? Fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. Over sales, sales is how much? One twenty-five thousand. Into hundred. So fifteen thousand divided by one twenty-five thousand and two hundred. So what is net profit as a percentage of sales? Twelve percent. So it would be option B. Are you with me? Yes. Yes. Let's go to the next question. I have gross profit of forty percent, net profit of seventeen percent. This is for four businesses. We want to know which business is covering its overheads efficiently. Okay, gross profit minus overheads gives you net profit, correct? Yeah. 
So could you find me the overheads uh, for these businesses? Um. This would be 23%. This would be 22%. This would be 21%. And this would be 18%. Are you with me? Yeah. So which business is controlling its overheads more efficiently? D. The least expenditure for overheads is being done by D. So they are controlling their overheads more efficiently. I hope you are with me. Okay. Come on, next question. Which formula is used to calculate inventory turnover ratio? Cost of goods sold divided by average inventory. At cost. Yeah. Okay. Go to the next one. I'm giving you some time. I want you to do the calculations. Try things yourself and you would help me solve. Okay. Okay. What do you want? Sales. Okay, you want sales. Okay, what is we have average inventory? We have cross profit. Sales minus cost of sales will give us what? Gross profit. Come on, explain me now. How will I do it? First of all, uh, we will use the rate of inventory turnover uh, turnover given to us, which is six. But the gross profit so, is first given. Na? So first let's talk about gross profit. Okay. Yeah, but uh, we need cost of sales to find but the... How you know you will need cost of sales? Because it says 25% on cost. Okay, so first you have to come at this, right? Yeah. So it is one-fourth on cost. Do I have the cost? I do not have the cost. Answer, do I have the cost yeah. or I do not have the cost? We don't have the cost. So what will we do? We'll use the rate of inventory turnover ratio. Okay, rate of inventory turnover. Yeah, which is equal to average inventory divided by cost. I mean, cost of sales divided by average inventory. So 15,000. Per ratio is six. Cost of sales, I don't know. Average inventory is 15,000. So I will get my cost of sales how much? Uh, it will be 15,000 into six, 90,000. Cost of sales would be 90,000. Now, now uh, it's uh, one fourth of ninety thousand, mm -hmm. which is twenty two thousand five hundred. Gross profit is twenty two five hundred. Yeah, now we just add the gross profit with the cost of sales to get revenue. Cost of sales is ninety thousand. So how much will be my revenue? 112,500. 112,500. It is option D. Yes? Okay. Read the ninth one. Yeah, miss. An analysis of a company's account over two years has produced the following ratios. Okay. There have been no changes in selling price or volume of sales during the two years. What happened in year two? What happened in year two? Uh, the net profit has reduced. Okay. Why? 
uh, it could be because the expenses have increased. Expenses. As the gross profit is the same. Gross profit is the same. The net profit has reduced because the expenses have increased. Very good. Go to the 10th one, please. Fatima, yes. please read. Firm sales are 150,000 and the cost of sales is 90,000 and the expenses are 45,000. What is the net profit as a percentage of the sales? How do you calculate net profit as percentage of sales? Uh, net profit over revenue times 100. Okay. How will you get the net profit? Um, uh, profit minus expenses. So your sales is 150,000. Mahat, can you please continue from here? Yeah, miss. Our sales are 150,000. Uh, first, uh, to find the gross profit, we'll just do 150,000 minus 90,000. Cost of sales is 90,000, so gross profit becomes the 60,000. Yeah. How and then we'll expect? subtract expenses. So net profit is how much? 15,000. So net profit over revenue into 100 is how much? 15,000 over 150,000 into 100, which is 10%. Okay, can we go ahead? Yeah. 11th one. Read. Uh, in 2000, a business had opening inventory of $10,000. What did you want from us? Inventory turnover. What is the for inventory turnover ratio? Cost of sales divided by average inventory. Okay, then. Okay. So, the opening inventory of the business was $10,000. Yeah. Closing inventory is $15,000. Sure. And sales were... This will help us to find out what? The average inventory. How do you get average inventory? Opening inventory plus closing inventory divided by two. Okay, so 10,000 plus 15,000 divided by two. 12,500. Okay, now cost of sales. Yeah. Cost How of sales. To find costs of sales, uh, it's given that the sales were hundred thousand, and mm -hmm. gross profit is twenty five percent on sale. So what is gross profit? It is twenty five percent. So it is twenty five thousand. Yeah. Cost of sales is seventy five thousand. So inventory turnover ratio will become how much? Six times. Six times. So answer is option B. Okay, I'm giving you time. Try from 12 to 20 and then we will discuss. Okay. Can we read the question? Which ratio can be calculated from the details in a sole trader's balance sheet? Balance sheet means what? A statement of financial position. Okay. Come on. What are the things that comes in the statement of financial position? Does the expenses and gross profit come in the statement of financial position? No, no expenses is a part of income sheet. Net profit and capital. Capital comes. In your capital, do you add your profit and subtract your drawings? Yeah. So this can be calculated from SOFP. How about this one? There's Net no sales. Comes, but sales does not come. Even if a year, cost of sales will not be there. So our option is B. 
Come on. Fatima. X had a net profit of 40,000, which was 20% of sales. The cost of goods was 75 of sales. What was X's gross profit? So whenever they ask you to find out gross profit or something like that, what is the thing that we will do? Miss what? What is the thing we will do? For gross profit, uh, we'll do revenue less cost of sales. Revenue less cost of sales will give you? Gross profit. Minus? Other expenses will give you profit for three. Okay, fine. Now we will start filling what information we have. Yeah. Come on, tell me. Uh, net profit is given as 40,000. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we can find the sales because it is 20% of sales. Mm -hmm. So 40,000 divided by 20 into 100. If this is 20%, so what would be 100? 100 is your yeah. sales. So I'll cross multiply. 40,000 into 100 divided by 20. So my sales will become how much? 200,000. Then? Uh, then it's given the cost of goods sold was 75% of sales. 75% mm -hmm. of 200,000, which is 150,000. Mm -hmm. so that's given. 50,000. So that's option A. Go to the next one. What do they want us to find out? Gross profit. Okay. Uh, they've given us the inventory turnover, the markup, and the opening and closing inventories. Hmm. So first we'll find out the average inventory. Inventory turnover ratio. What is the formula? Cost of sales divided by average. Inventory turnover ratio, we will write what? Six times. Average inventory is how much? 20,000 uh, plus 28,000 divided by two. It comes up to how much? 24,000. So cost of sales will be how much? 24,000 into 6. 144,000. Now we want gross profit. So what will we do? 40% on 144,000. First we will write sales minus cost of sales is gross profit. Cost of sales is 144,000. Gross profit is 20%. Markup is on? Cost. So 20%. So 28,800. B. Hmm? 28,800. So sales? They just want the gross profit. Okay. Come on now. The 15th. I want you to now do from 15 to 20. Self-evaluate and let me know where you are getting stuck. Read the question. Yeah, the books of a business uh, shows the following. Uh, what is the net profit as a percentage of sales? So they're looking for profit margin. So net profit divided by sales into 100. Hmm. Hmm. So uh, we can directly find out the net profit by subtracting 50,000 and 10,000 from 90,000. Okay. And 
divided by ninety thousand. Isn't it net profit, na? Yeah, net profit is thirty thousand. Hmm. Divided by ninety thousand into hundred. Hmm. Uh, equal thirty three point three percent. Okay, answer is B. Yeah. Go to the next one. Uh, I wanted to do ahead. I just need a minute. Chalo, tell me how, how do you find cost of sales? 16th. Mm, yeah, miss one sec. Okay. The gross profit margin is already given. So just 20% on 16,000. Mm -hmm. Which is 12,800. No, no. Uh, uh, what we get to that. Miss, I, I told you the answer. Wait. We get it as 3,200. And then we... Uh, when you are giving answers, be specific. What is 3,200? That's the gross profit. To get the cost of sales, you will minus it. Okay, miss. Fatima, can you uh, help me to the next question, please? Yeah. What is meant by rate of inventory turnover? It just means that how many times the inventory is being sold to the customers and option like the process C. is repeating. Yeah. Yeah, option C. Go ahead. Yeah, miss, okay. Uh, which ratio is calculated using information from both the income statement and the balance sheet? It is uh, option C, net profit divided by capital. This is a repeated question? Yeah. Okay. Fatima? The table gives information for a company's financial year. What is the average inventory for the year? So sales minus cost of sales will give you? Gross profit. Okay, now. Mahad help. Yeah, Miss Okay. Uh, we take a uh, rate of inventory turnover and uh, we already know it is five times. So five is equal to the cost of sales divided by average inventory. And since we need to find the average inventory, we'll first find the cost of sales. Uh, okay, so gross profit is 20% on sales. So 20% of 250,000 is 50,000. Uh, and then uh, we will just do, uh, we'll find the, Cost of sales, which will be 200,000. Okay. And then we'll just do 200,000 divided by five, which is 40,000. Fatima, are you with me? Yeah, miss. You understood? Yeah. Mahat, please be near the mic, okay? Okay, miss. Go ahead. Fatima. Um, a business provides the following information. How much were the expenses? Mm -hmm. Sales minus cost of sales is gross profit. And then... Mahadev. Yeah, miss. Twenty five percent of sales is five thousand dollars, and then we find net profit, which is ten percent oh, of sales, which is twenty five percent. I I told five thousand. Okay. And then, miss five thousand, miss. You wrote five hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then net profit is. Two thousand dollars, because it is ten percent of sales. Yeah. So, 
So now uh, 5,000 minus 2,000, which is 3,000, which are our expenses. Fatima, are you getting? Yeah, miss. Why are you not answering? I'm. It's a bit difficult for me. I'm going to watch this video when you up. Yeah. Come on, tell me. What do they want from us? Rate of inventory turnover for the year. Okay. Tell. Uh, okay. So, rate of inventory turnover is equal to cost of sales divided by average inventory. And uh, cost of sales and find it out uh, by doing inventory, opening inventory plus purchases minus closing inventory. Which will give us one hundred. Do I directly know my average inventory? Yes. Forty thousand divided by two, right? Yeah. Twenty thousand. I have my sales two fifty thousand. Yeah. I don't know my cost of sales, and gross profit is not given. So I can find out my cost of sales how. Opening plus purchases minus closing. What is opening inventory? 10,000 and then plus 140,000 minus 30,000, which gives us 120,000 as total cost of sales. Okay. So inventory turnover ratio will become how much? It will be six times. Okay, fine. Go ahead. Yeah, miss. Tell me. The trading section of an income statement of a small business no, is as... Go to the question, what do I want? Rate, rate of inventory. So, cost of sales is given to me directly. Yeah. Average inventory will be? 7,500. Opening plus closing divided by 2. So inventory turnover ratio is how much? 21.333 times. Option C. Yeah. Can we go to the next one? Fatima, please read. The amounts of opening and closing inventory are known. What is needed to calculate the inventory turnover? Uh, cost of sales. Okay. Next one. What happened with this, Mahat? Uh, miss, I don't know how to do this one. Today, inventory no, I got... ratio is cost of sales I got... average inventory. Yeah, I got gross profit as 40,000. Wait, Dina, now you said you don't know, right? Yeah, but the answer is wrong. You want the business purchases during the year. I mean, Inventory yeah. ratio is eight times. I don't know my cost of sales. Average inventory is 5,000. So cost of sales is... 8 into 5,000 is 40,000. Cost of sales is opening plus purchases minus closing. Cost of sales is 40,000. I don't know my opening inventory. I don't know my purchases. Miss, there's no opening inventory. Okay. And my closing inventory is 5,000. There is no opening inventory. So 40,000 plus 5,000 is equal to purchases. Why is there no opening inventory? Because this is the first year of trading. So my purchases is 45,000. Are you with me? Yes, miss. Okay. 
let's go to the next one start yeah miss okay uh they are asking to find the net profit they have yes ma tell me they're asking us to find the net profit and the net profit on capital employed is 10 percent so we need to find the capital employed first of all so this is uh, return on capital employed yeah how much it is? First, we need to find capital employed. 10% is return on capital employed. I don't know the net profit. Capital employed is the money that is used in the business. Yeah. Yeah? The so money that yes. is used in the business is, this is total assets minus current liability. Yeah. So it is... Uh, then minus twenty thousand. Yeah. One sixty thousand. So yeah, one sixty. Yeah, can you please tell me now? Okay, now we just do ten percent on one sixty thousand. So ten into sixteen hundred. So net profit uh, sixteen thousand. Yeah. 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 I did a different way, but I got the same. Okay, fine. Answer is option B. Come on, next one. Yeah. A business sales are five hundred thousand dollars. What do they Gross want us to find? Net profit as a percentage of sales. So how do you find it? So uh, you could do net profit divided by sales into 100. Sales is given? Yeah. Okay. Net profit, we need to find it. Gross profit is how much? 25% on sales. Mm -hmm. So 125,000. Okay. And we can just subtract 25,000 because those are the expenses, okay. which will give us the profit. So $100,000 divided by 500,000 in 200 mm -hmm. gives us 20%. Option B. Yes. Next one. Yeah. The value of cost of sales and closing inventory are known. What other value is needed to calculate the rate of inventory turnover? Opening inventory. Okay. Go to the next one. Yeah. They're asking us to find the amount of expenses. So for this, and we're given sales, so we can just find out gross profit as it is 20% of sales. Mm -hmm. So 2,000 and okay. not net profit is 10%. So 1,000. 10,000. Miss, gross profit is 2,000, miss. It is 20% of sales, okay. 2,000. Yeah, net profit, 1,000. Expenses will be one thousand. Okay. Next. Yeah, a trader provides the following information, and what are the sales? So, cost of sales is given as forty thousand dollars, and gross profit margin is given as twenty percent. So, it will be one fifth on the sales. So one fourth on cost. So gross profit is equal to ten thousand dollars, and then we'll just do forty thousand dollars plus ten thousand dollars, and it will give us the sales. And so it's option D. Hmm. Next one. Okay. What is the current ratio? So current assets divided by current liability. Hmm. 
-hmm. Inventory is current asset. Pay receivables is current asset. Prepayment expenses is current asset. Cash is current assets. And trade payables and accrued expenses are liabilities. So, what is your total? So we'll just we'll get five is to one. Total current assets is how much? It is nine thousand. So it will be five is to one. Yeah. Next one. What measures of businesses liquidity? So a quick ratio. What does it tell? It it is one of the liquidity ratios, right? So it shows how fast your assets can pay off your liabilities. Yeah. What's the formula for quick ratio? Current assets minus inventory divided by current liability. Okay. Next. Wayne's trading section of an income statement for the year was as follows. What was Wayne's gross profit margin? So for this one, we will just do gross profit. Gross profit divided by sales into one, mm -hmm. which is 22.66%. Okay. Complete the 